Shall we all rise, please? I My heart sings to bending blue skies of a vague smile on this your wedding day. Nathan, you may now take your bride. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to sing because I'm going to sing. That means, uh, let me interpret, guys. That means you better take care of her or else I'll come after you. <laughs> you <laughs> folks may come forward. <laughs> Face each other. Mm. You want to give your bouquet to me? Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Hold hands, you two. Young Sa, Nathan, we have come here today to unite both of you as husband and wife. You know, Nate, there's an old Proverbs which says he who has found a beautiful Korean wife has found a great thing. And you most definitely have found that today. So remember you to your home will always be built upon love. Remember that love is that beautiful foundation which both of you are creating today as husband and wife. Remember that it symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives. Yet the sharing must never diminish throughout your marriage, but should always enhance the individuality of each partner. So remember, a wonderful marriage that lasts forever is a marriage that is continually developing while also growing in the understanding of one another. Now, a very powerful marriage will consist of many wonderful things, but I want to share with you seven strong things to a great marriage. The first thing is communication. Communication is very vital to a marriage. Remember to always learn how to talk to one another, to always learn how to encourage one another and to share with one another, and also to learn some Korean words also. <laughs> So let this wonderful sacred union be the catalyst that transforms both of you into the expression of your highest self. See, the second thing in a powerful marriage is trust. To always trust one another's heart. But you know, you also need to trust your ideas, even if your ideas might be funny and ridiculous. The third thing is love. Love never fails in a powerful marriage. Now, there's going to be some trials and tribulations. There might be a little bit of walls and obstacles. 
Remember to never face it alone. Always face it together. And to always remember that love never fails. The fourth thing in a powerful marriage is sacrifice. To sacrifice for one another and to sacrifice for your family, but to sacrifice your own personal desire for the other is also a wonderful, powerful thing. See, the fifth thing in a powerful marriage is learning how to serve each other. See, once you can begin to learn how to serve one another throughout your marriage, you come to one of the most important things in a powerful marriage, which is knowing and learning how to honor each other. Remember that honoring each other is lacking in today's society and also marriage. But when you can begin to learn how to honor each other throughout your marriage, you will come to what I personally believe is one of the most important thing to a powerful marriage, which is humility. Now it's okay to say, I'm sorry, you are right. But in this case, Nate, whenever there's an argument, remember she will always be right in every single argument. So Nathan, <clears throat> I need to ask you this very important question. It's the most important question you might even have to answer throughout your lifetime, but it has to be asked. There's no it's a but about it. So I need you to be ready. Take a deep breath. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm 100%. <laughs> I'm giving you one more chance. Are you sure you're ready for this question? Oh, I'm pretty sure. All right. <laughs> and the question is, will you now take this beautiful young lady to be your wife? I do. And do you promise today to love her? to honor her, to serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Young Saw, I need to ask you that important question also, okay? So take a deep breath. And will you now take this handsome stud, I mean, um, I mean, <laughs> man, to be your husband? Yeah. And do you promise today to love him, to honor him, to serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I do. I do. <laughs> May I have the rings, please? <laughs> right side up, buddy. <laughs> so, guys, as we look at these beautiful rings, the rings are a circle. And as such is the symbol of the sun, the earth, and our universe. See, with its wholeness, its perfection, and also peace. These beautiful unbroken circle represents the wholeness and the completeness of your love for each other, into which both of you will now enter as husband and wife, as companions, and also as best friends. So it is with great hope that your love for each other today will always be as eternal as this beautiful sea that surrounds our beautiful islands. So those who love the sea can always feel its heartbeat. Nathan, take this ring. I want you to hold it from underneath just like that so everyone can see that you bought it from Jarrett's and not Zales. Place it on her left ring finger. I want you to look into her eyes and repeat these words after me. With this ring, with this ring, as a token of my love, as a token of my love, I pledge, I pledge, my life, my life, my love to you, my love to you, from this day, from this day. Young Sa, take this ring, hold it from like that, also underneath. Okay, place it on Nathan's left ring finger. It's okay. Okay, and then you'll repeat after me. I'll go very slow. With this ring, with this ring, as a token, as a token of my love, of my love. I pledge, I pledge my life, my life, my love to you, my love to you from this day. From this day. Nathan, at this time, do you have any beautiful words that you want to recite to your bride? You may do so at this time. You can speak in Korean if you want to. <laughs> we'll make it simple. Um, honey, I'm trying not to cry right now because I'm so happy. <laughs> but Insa, I love you so much, honey. Too. <laughs> And I promise, <laughs> I promise that every day we're always going to do the best for each other. Every day is going to be the best day of our lives from now on. I love you so much, honey. Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Youngso, it is your turn mm. to your groom. Yeah, I'm not going to eat Yeah. I'm going to eat i Ladies and gentlemen, in the beautiful culture of our traditional of our Hawaiian Islands, the exchanging of the flower lake is a deep symbol of love, respect, and affection. So to place a beautiful lei on a loved one is to bestow them with the most highest esteem. So as we look at these beautiful crafted lei, it represents a Polynesian tradition, cultural, and values of two lives from two separate nations that will now intertwine to become one. The lays that you will give to one another and the lays that you will receive from one another will be a reflection and a moment in time here in Hawaii as both of you begin to share your lives together as husband and wife. Young man, take this beautiful fragrance <coughs> tuberose lay. Now, I need to test you on something. The ribbon, Yeah. okay, if she's taken, it'll go on the left side. If she's still single, it'll go on the right side. <laughs> if middle, that means you don't know. <laughs> so, okay. Figure that one out now. Left, right, left. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing you to make sure All you right. know. Come on, Bobby. Can you go? Yeah, bring that out. Take the <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Both hands. So guys, we've heard your beautiful vows and those quick promises that you have made to one another. So now may your love and your understanding grow with all the years that are waiting ahead of you. Remember now to always seek each other's happiness and to always especially recognize each other's needs first. So may yours today be a shared adventure, rich with many moments, as well as many excitements. But you know guys, there's gonna be some problems, just little ones, <laughs> that will test both of you, as well as many, many, many successes that will always lift both of you up. So may you always find in each other companionship, as well as love. Many, many challenges, as well as agreements. See, together you'll laugh together, you'll cry together, God forbid even be angry at one another, but we know that's never going to happen in your marriage, right? Nope. Right? Yeah, it'll never happen well, in your ever. marriage. Because together, you begin to grow with one another, and you'll begin to share with one another. Remember that marriage is a very wonderful thing, because with it, you've gained your partner for life. See, someone who will always be there for you, and with you, even when you're a little bit grumpy and a little sad. But there's always something you both can always rely on and cherish towards each other. You know, that most delicate thing will always be your heart. So remember now, always bring it to joy and never, ever, 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 ever lose your sense of humor towards one another. So above all, may the two of you find an ever richer meaning in a lifelong adventure as you begin to share your lives together as husband and why. So take a deep breath. Yeah, you can stop shaking, bro. Relax. <laughs> because by the power vested in me in the state of Hawaii, I cannot pronounce both of you as husband and wife. Nathan, you may now... <laughs> Hang on, guys! He hasn't kissed her yet! <laughs> okay, kiss him. Alright. Put your hand on. Okay, and hold the kiss there. I'll tell you when to stop. Hang on, your mom has her cell phone. She wants to get a picture. Hang on. Hold it, hold it. I'll tell you when to stop. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Mom's still taking pictures. Hang on, mom's still taking pictures. Hang on. It's not that difficult. Is that the first time you're kissing her? Okay, you can stop. Okay, put your hand on there. Look over there, guys. Look at Jesse. Okay, great. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Mueller. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mueller.
Nate, Yun Sa, congratulations. This is Mary speaking. Um, beautiful wedding. I'm so happy for you too, and I hope you find happiness in your future and always love each other. Yun Sa, happy wedding and come to New Zealand for living after Hawaii life if you get tired of it. Okay, <laughs> looking forward to seeing you again. And Nathan, you are the luckiest guy in the world because I know Yun Sa for a long time, not too long, but I know her very well. She is down to earth, warm heart, she's so beautiful. That's why you chose her. You're so smart. And congratulations on the wedding. This is your brother, Charlie. Uh, I can tell that you guys are going to have a very long, happy life together, and your wife just seems absolutely wonderful. Uh, I look forward to uh, hopefully getting to visit you guys a lot in Hawaii, and I want to see you guys more often than I already do. So congratulations, and have a great, great, wonderful marriage together. Hello, this is, I'm not telling you who this is, but I will tell you this. I apologize if I do not do a speech today because I don't find time, but I will tell you it in person someday. Love you, brother. See ya. Yunsa, today I'm so happy and I'm so beautiful. You're so beautiful. I'm so happy and I'm so happy. 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 I'm so happy and I